I welcome all of you on platform of Europedia Education and I wish you all a very happy Independence Day and uh, today we are celebrating 75th Independence Day. India has come a long way in these 75 years and India will go a long way in next 25 years. You know today I will be talking about something which is very much related to what we are doing on Europedia and that is related to education something related to education, engineering and technology. I strongly believe that India can become global superpower in the field of academics, in the field of higher education, in the field of technology engineering research. I recently visited one of the campuses, in fact I visited uh, campuses of National University Singapore and Nanyang Technical University. I went to these campuses to explore the opportunities for Indian students in the field of higher education. The students who go to join MS courses and PhD courses, so what are the opportunities existing to the students in these campuses? And I could meet many professors, many students over there. What I found was like, if I give you roughly statistics, out of 100 research scholars, there will be 80-85 from China, less than 10 from India and rest from other countries. I am giving you percentage. Now, ye jo percentage aapko bataya, that is in students professors may it is even lesser for India. So this statistics does not match our population just may almost equal to China hai, or China ko cross kar jaldi, and our capability. When I say capability we are the best brain in mathematics and physics in the world. We are English speaking country very good English speaking. We are hard worker hum pura effort laga dete hain labs mein baith ke mehnat karte hain uh, work life balance ka bhi focus nahi karte we put lot of effort indian students are the best and on the basis of the feedback from my own students wherever indians go they are doing very good in that domain chahe wo research hai kuch bhi hai they are at the top lekin global presence is field mein hamari nahi hai if you talk about research organizations in india isro drdo brc we are doing great in fact, ISRO ke projects far better than NASA in the form of course and everything. So, why it is so that global higher education mein Indian ki presence nahi hai? There are many reasons for that. I don't want to discuss those reasons here. Lekin kya hum agle 10 saal mein India ko globally higher education, science, engineering ki domain mein globally best country or super power bana sakte hai? And the answer is yes. Only thing is Indian students, those who are doing masters or those who want to do masters, they need to identify ke haan, ye best uh, countries hain, ye best labs hain, ye best universities hain, and we want to go there. See India also has the best universities like IITs and all. That does not stop Indian from exploring opportunities abroad. Indians should go to these universities and they should learn there and use that learning globally and back home. Jabbi Indian students abroad jata hai, MS PhD karta hai, to job karta hai, ya scholarship lita hai, to return me wo money India ko deta hai. Uske gharwalo ko benefit hota hai. And let's say PhD me kei vartu me bata chuko ki when you are doing PhD, you are saving 65, 70,000 rupees and that you are sending back your home. To say India ka economy strong hota hai. Aaj dollar ke comparison me uh, rupees very weak. So the moment we start sending back or we start earning in those countries, we can help them. We can give ideas to uh, you know, students. And today, when I try to send my abroad, we mail to professors. Ko karte, we get very less Indian students. You see, there are so many Chinese professors in these universities and they give opportunity to Chinese students. But that is not the case of Indian. And I strongly think that we can become a superpower. I strongly think that we can flood these universities with Indian students, Indian mind, which will be very global peace prosperity, ke liye hoga, jo India ke ke liye hoga. So, let's move in that direction and we fulfill this pledge and we make India the Vishwaguru in the field of education, research, technology, engineering and technology. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.